Hi, this is Chris Reader, Niter Tech Power, and um, I'm going to show you basic uh, deep sea controller functions, just how to navigate through it. And uh, here we go. Uh, you have a main navigation cross here, which gets you to the programs, left and right, to your sub programs, and then within the sub programs, up and down to the individual uh, steps. So to the right, you see sub program engine, and then you can go up and down and see all the engine functions, engine speed, so battery, runtime, fuel levels and everything. You can go up and down, up and down. This is all your engine displays. One more to the right, you have your generator. You see your voltages, your kilowatts, your, your power, your currents, everything. One more to the right will be your main power if you have that, uh, alarms, if there is any alarms, event log. This is one of the more important ones that your technician will ask you in case of a failure or of a, of a problem with the generator. And they call a company, they call us, uh, one of our technicians will ask you uh, to go to the event log. And uh, the event log basically shows you in chronological order what happened, power up, engine started, stopped, and uh, it would show you eventual failure uh, trouble codes, which uh, would help us to diagnose your problems. Uh, so you would, in the event log, up and down to set date and time where the problem occurred, and then it would give us then the information, whatever it would say, engine failure, common alarm, or whatever it would be, you know, uh, over voltage, under voltage, whatever it would maybe. Um, and, uh, this uh, you can navigate for it right, it will be a scheduling. It's, it's just basically gives you all the information of what's the status of the generator engine or you know, trouble, whatever it is. So, this navigation cross is the one that you would use, and uh, you cannot mess anything up with that, it's just displays. So, feel free to navigate through however much you like. All right, thank you, bye.